G'day mates and welcome back to Power and Revolution Geopolitical Simulator 4 Poland can into space. Now, uh, last episode we were looking at energy. Now we still haven't heard back from anybody yet. What I'm going to be doing uh, coming up shortly is starting to just power through a little bit. Oh, okay, that's our energy thing. I'm going to start powering through uh, time just a little bit quicker as things tick on. Are uh, they? Uh, oh, they want us to buy more. And they're going to charge us a nearly exorbitant price. I still only want five. And I think I said 122 last time. Let's say 130. And see if that looks like it's a lot of cost. But uh, we're going to need to... We're going to need to take care of that as quickly as we can. Now, what we're going to do in the meantime is actually try to deal with our energy shortage. And that's going to involve... Uh, fossil electricity is what we're currently producing a lot of. So we still can't build that third generation nuclear thing that we discovered earlier, but we can build the regular nuclear that we discovered before that. So there must be like a week or something between discovering the tech and actually being able to implement it. Uh, cannot seem to build any uh, or, or search for the unconventional gas and oil, which is a shame. It is past. I remember doing that last episode or the episode before or whatever. But for some reason, I thought there were additional buildings that you could build. Maybe let's just have one more quick look here. Very weak. Very weak. Aha, okay, so there we go. We're discovering something down here. Now, this could just be natural gas that we've discovered. Uh, as opposed to hmm, can I get average or is it just going to be very weak now? Okay, that's all we've got. He's got a tiny little pocket of gas there. So I'm actually going to build one of those. Gas is not hugely profitable, but we do need a lot of it for our economy. So I will uh, see if I can. It's costing me. Oh, it's costing me nothing. 1.8 million dollar dues, except that. That's the annual reimbursement, and uh, it's only taking four months to build. So, uh, again, no information here to really make a proper choice. But if I had to guess, it's costing me only one third of that total cost, so six hundred thousand dollar dues. Unless, of course, yeah, no fucking idea. Could be six hundred thousand. Where was it? It was here somewhere. That's where the other one's being built. So let's build one nearby. Now my understanding is you can have five per state. So let's just cancel that off for a second. That's one state. Yeah, so I could have 10 clustered around this area if I was keen. If you have more than five per state, they start to suck from each other. But I think being across that state border, the way the game models it, we could actually get some good gas out of this. Now I don't want to pump down too much at once because the uh, the huge boost to our gas industry could bump up our GDP and send our, uh, our growth and subsequently our uh, inflation through the roof. So I'm going to throw down just two, maybe three of them. We got weak. It's not going to give us a huge amount of money, but it would be nice. Let's see if there's any oil in this area as well. No, there's no oil here. It's just a little bit of gas. Hmm. Still don't know how to search for coal seam gas exactly, but uh, we'll figure that out in time. Now, energy, energy was what I was looking at. Now, if we can find, oddly enough, fossil energy really should be cheaper per terawatt hour. You get 0.2 terawatt hours for 100 million. Well, that's different to my Nigeria game. Maybe it depends on the country. Uh, that's going to be a difficult one to calculate. It uh, cost 12 months. Let me think about this. What is that? It's, I can't do math on camera. Um, but it's it's just over 100 million. So it's actually less efficient to use nuclear. Hydroelectricity is 0.3. And it's less. So hydroelectric is actually cheaper than, uh, than the fossil energy. Surprisingly, despite the huge infrastructure cost of building dams, they I refuse. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna negotiate with Germany if they're gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, what do we want? We still need energy. Let's have a look at what else we've got here. 
Okay, onshore wind is two terawatt hours for 300. So that is uh, quite efficient, I think. Yeah, that is much more efficient than some of the others. Offshore wind is even higher, but the cost is up there. Geothermal is... Oh, I should get a calculator out and calculate these, but that seems to be considerably cheaper as well than fossil energy. Biomass, which is burning wood, is half the price of fossil energy. It's also somewhat cleaner. And then solar is 100 per terawatt hour. Again, much cheaper. So what I can do is I can start to see what I've got in the area. Average. So I know Nigeria had, uh, my Nigeria playthrough had very good solar stuff up sort of through the Sahara Desert and, and bits in the north. So I was getting up to three and a bit terawatt hours as opposed to the promised two. Um, which made it a very, very good cost production. Now it looks like that's only going to be normal. Can I get a good set of wind? Wind only takes six months to build as well, which is very nice. Not sure. I don't know if Poland is a particularly windy country or not. I would have thought you get sort of coming off the Russian through this plateau here, sort of along the, maybe near the mountains, you get more wind. Not quite. Looks like we're not very well primed for. Uh, let's move some stuff away from my mic, probably. We're not well primed for uh, nine months forgetting this in renewable energy stuff still average I don't think I've ever seen a country that was so completely average huh so you look at something over here I can't build it out here obviously but see the good production out in the North Sea I suppose you get winds up the Faroe Islands very good so up here the Faroe Islands Denmark or whoever owns that country, I think they're actually separate by themselves, uh, would have a really good production opportunity for offshore wind power. Where Poland is unfortunate, we just don't get the winds through here nearly enough. So we might need to look at something like geothermal or even hydro seem to be a fairly good option there. I'm going to calculate it in front of me, but let's just do some mental math here. That is multiplied by three is... Uh, 52.22 per terawatt hour uh, comes down to just over one. So nuclear is starting to look a little bit better here. Geothermal is a lot higher as well. Multiply by four is two, nearly 250 per terawatt hour. It actually might still be cheaper to go solar or wind, even if it is only average. That takes 12 months and it's basically 100 per terawatt hour. Just gotta keep this in my head, and that's somewhat more, but it builds in six months, which is interesting. So again, I don't know, I don't have the information to make a proper educated guess here. Is that going to cost us 300 million, or is it costing us 300 million over a year, but we're only building for half that time? Really, this game is just so bad at communicating information. It's appalling, in fact, I, I don't think of, I could have done it worse if I tried. Uh, if I was in, con in control, there's no way to make it worse than what they've done. They're just so bad. But we've got to work with what we've got. Now, what I'm going to do is take a bit of a punt here and diversify. I'm going to put a little bit of wind power down. I'm going to put it uh, just out here somewhere, just to get something quick. Because uh, we're using, as our economy is growing, we're using more and more energy. If we have a look over here, yeah, our energy deficit is going to start growing. Uh, we haven't increased our usage yet, but the, it will continue to grow as our economy goes up. Uh, we're going to want one solar farm somewhere. Average is good enough. And ideally I'm going to wait for that third gen nuclear building to come available and I'll calculate that. So we'll take what we've got for now. They're going to take us a long, long time to build. That's going to take us 360 days. And that one is only six months, 180 days. Uh, that's not good. I thought it was going to be two terawatt. And, oh man, that's okay. So renewables are really not good for us at this point. We need to get average just is not sufficient. We're going to have to go for nuclear, I think. Nuclear is going to be the uh, 
the route for Poland. This of course I can pump up a lot more geothermal internet access. Excellent. So we now have about 170 million additional dollar dues to public finances, yeah. Uh, to throw on to upgrading our infrastructure. Now I'd like to get our broadband internet up slightly as well. It's got a 40% of coverage. And that is slightly more than we're raising, but uh, that will hopefully boost our entire nation considerably, get the infrastructure going and allow us to start moving away from agriculture and industry side economies and moving into more of a service-based economy. To that end, what I'm also doing, I've been thinking of, is looking at some of our activities here now. Uh, cement is fairly bad for the environment with CO2 production that comes off from it. Um, electric automobiles, potentially something we can start moving towards. Um, not sure how many polluting industries we've got. I mean, they'd all make some sort of pollution from them. Mining and stuff like that especially is uh, relatively polluting in a lot of ways. But what I'm thinking of doing is creating... Nope, not there. It must already exist. There must be a... There you go. Tax on industrial pollution. Uh, this is something you don't want to pump up too much. It can really hurt your industry. But what it does do is it can... Our agents that have infiltrated Excellent. We're actually dismantling something in Syria. A terrorist organization. What it does do is it can disincentivize. That's all taxes do is they disincentivize things. This will disincentivize uh, polluting industry, which is not a, necessarily a huge portion of our GDP. If we have a quick look in here, our GDP is currently... 116, which is 20.9%, but actually is growing as a percentage. I wonder if people are moving away from agriculture or if they're moving away from services. Uh, they are, appear to be moving away from agriculture. Have a look at services as well. We are, yes, people are moving away from services and agriculture and moving into industry, typically. So, yeah, I'm making a, my dog in the background making a bit of noise. Hope you guys can ignore it for a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to disincentivize moving into industry and try to uh, head towards a service industry. So we're going to go up to, oh, it's too much, I think. Uh, actually, would they? Let's see if anyone would support that. No, God, no, not a chance. So we'll go up to 0.5. That's a lot of revenue. And will they support it? No, they won't support it at all. Let's go point. Two. Will we get that through? No, we won't get that through. Uh, we'll have to keep my dog out of this room in a second. Which I think I will. Okay, I'm back. I was only gone for a couple of seconds, but I did leave time running if you were concerned about the time lag there. I'll have to recruit more people as well. That's not going to work. What we're going to do now is get a reform going. So we need to get something that our... Our agents that have infiltrated this... Yes, yes, yes. That's going to pop up a lot now because enough time has elapsed for them to all different countries we're spying on. We're going to have a look at our parliament here. Now, obviously, our conservative liberal party is our people. They're more inclined to support us regardless of what we do, but... Even that only has can go so far. We're gonna have a quick look at this person here. Um, enterprises. Yeah, nothing particularly useful there. What we need to do is find some. It's a fairly right-leaning party, and the uh, sorry, parliament. Uh, religious holiday. I don't care about that. What does this mean? These are quite difficult to read. They, they use this weird speak when they're doing with uh, intelligence agencies. Undermining, non-negligible. Okay, so we did we did a small amount of damage to the jihadist caliphate, which is great because I think they're the ones that are currently in our... No, they're not. The Russian mafia we want to hit. Looks like we're not infiltrating anyone either. Let's get into these and just double check 
our we got a new person to spy on. This other guy is, uh, has been playing a first person shooter game. <laughs> That's not enough to proceed with an arrest just yet. He may just uh, may be a normal person. Now, while we're on this actually, there's no guarantee that the head of the organization is one of these two people. Could be an un, as yet undetermined and unfound person. It really depends on our, uh, our funding and how, how good our uh, intelligence services are. Now let's go back into here. Our parliament is going to need something considerable. What I could consider doing is dropping another tax. For example, I could drop the gun tax. It's not gonna cost us a lot of money to drop it. As an example, getting rid of it completely would only cost us 7.8 thousand dollar dues, but um, it might get a lot of people on board. While we're here, I just wanna double check quickly our money. My party currently has uh, 7.4 million dollars. Every time I poll the parliament or the people, it's costing money from my political party. And we will need that for re-election at some point in the near future. So I need to be very, very careful not to drain it all in one go. What could we drop? Company turnover is not a good tax because it's regardless of profit. I'd much prefer working on company tax, which only targets profit. Um, got there. It's true that the blue. Yep. Okay. So we found something there. Wine tax. There's a bit of money in the wine tax there. So we can up the tax on the pornography industry. I think that support. A lot of people tend to support that. Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, the Parliament likes upping the tax on the pornography industry. So what I can do is create a new reform. This is going to be uh, industrial pollution control. Here we go, industrial pollution control. And we're going to create a reform. Now that is going to pass, absolutely guaranteed to pass. So we need to then up a carbon tax instead. So it's not much money there. I just want to see what the yeah, our party does not support the carbon tax. So we could consider switching parties, but I don't really want to put a carbon tax on the economy either. It's a, it's a big, big dampener on the economy. Although you do gradually raise it as time goes on, as you sort of get through to the, the mid twenties and up to the thirties, uh, and you can electrify cars. It really pushes people into adopting those sorts of measures, as well as uh, tax on petroleum and whatnot. But that's for things like heating, which I want to avoid for the time being. So we're going to instead try this one here. I'm going to do 0.2, which is very, very minor, but they're not liking it. But if I add this to that reform, let's have a look what we're looking at there. Are they going to support it? 90%, oh, they will support it. So they really, really don't like pornography. They're willing to take quite a considerable tax. In that case, we're going to, do I want to hurt agriculture as well? Uh, it's not that many millions of dollars. Do I want to up internet access? The question is, what do I want to hurt in the economy? I'm not so worried about whether they'll support it. It's whether they're going to hurt something in the economy. Inheritance tax at 20%. Christ, that's a lot of money. I could tax petroleum products slightly. I want to take advantage of this reform while it's so good. Probably highway tolls. I'm going to do a lot of infrastructure spending in the near future. So if I up that, it's not gonna pay for a huge amount of infrastructure, but they hate that. This is a very anti-tax government at the moment, or parliament. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna throw a small carbon tax in. We're gonna go up to 0.15 dollar dues per tonne of carbon. It's not a huge amount, but it should gradually start pushing people in that same direction. Oh, I fucked it. Oh, I fucked it. No, I fucked it. Got greedy and wasted it. Mm. Uh, okay, well, I will withdraw the reform. 
We'll cancel the bill. What's the difference between these two? Let's withdraw the reform. Okay, we've cancelled that. Uh, yes, okay, that's cancelled. Now we can't change them immediately because we've withdrawn that reform. You have just cancelled the reform that was on. And it's going to impact us slightly, I think. But we'll have to come back to that in the near future. And I think what we're going to do is give it uh, a month or so and we'll come back and see how we're going. So what I'm going to do is probably just speed up time i'll keep it keep recording but i will speed up time what we're gonna do is skip forward for uh let's do a week to start with okay one week has passed you can see not a huge amount happened a few things popped up on tv we got some space research which is just like a little flavor tutorial thing. Uh, we don't, yeah, we don't have an astronaut. So to get an astronaut, we need to, which is just a, like a key figure that you can talk to, you need to uh, bump up astronaut training for a prolonged period of time and you can get one. I think we will just invest a small amount in that for now and we can pick one up in time. So it's one week later, Japan has discovered e-paper. Um, robotic stuff which we're not really doing much with robots at the moment but they were they're doing pretty well good on you japan getting some tech there let's go back into taxing here a little bit and see how we can go here i'm going to try this one more time what we're going to do oh no not yet i need to wait a whole month wow okay let's jump forward a month and see what happens Okay, somebody has been assassinated. Let's see, was it someone in our cabinet? Uh, no, it wasn't. It'd be a question mark if they were. This, this bug is, is quite odd. I don't know what's causing it. Uh, interestingly enough, these terrorist organizations are being quite active. We need to try and stop them as much as we can. Who have we got here? Only one person under surveillance. So it looks like the first person shoot to play guy was not a terrorist. He's just somebody who sits at home, plays games, and doesn't like us very much. This guy, however, we think might be somebody. Hmm. Oh well, nothing we can act on just yet. What it might be interesting to do is place a few people under surveillance for fun. I'd like to just keep an eye on our wife, just to make sure she's all good. Abuse the power of the state a little bit. And while we're at it, let's have a look at our father and our Mother, it's actually a father there, but whatever. Uh, those won't really do a huge amount of anything to us, but it might, uh, might be a bit of fun. I'd also like to look at... Look at some of the other political, the leaders of the political parties. We can, like, do a full Watergate and actually break into their, their HQ, but uh, I think it's a little bit too risky. I don't want to go the way of Richard Nixon. So we're going to just spy on, we could spy on every single uh, member. We've only got a limited capacity to actually spy those. So I'll pick the heads of every single party. I think one of those was ours, our party as well. But, oh no, other parties only, other parties, good. Poland Union, them, and we've got one more that we can do. Hopefully we've got everyone. No, there's two of them, three of them, there's a whole bunch of them. The patriotic rights we're not going to bother with yet because they're probably more going to be aligned with us. Uh, the Union of the Democratic Right. Maybe we will go the patriotic right, the extreme right. We want to, we want to see if we can weaken them because we might be able to pick up their votes at the election if we've got to dig up any dirt on them. And for now, let's just keep on ticking on. Okay, lots of things popping up here. Let's have a quick look what we've got. Uh, yeah, it's just an update that comes up for normal. The target is constantly on alert. Okay. Any direct approach. So we couldn't get that person under. Every person's more alert or less alert than others. So we couldn't get that person under surveillance I just yet. We will be spotted by the target. Couldn't get that person under. Target is in. We've got that person. I'm not going to read through all of these because they are 
thoroughly uninteresting. Uh, yep, that's all of the... Oh, and our wife is under as well, but there's three others that we missed. We got... The National Fuck off. That is the most annoying thing. It just continuously pops up non-stop. I wish I could stop it somehow. Um... Yeah, that's not looking good. Energy is getting into a major problem. A press release, the terrorist organization has and they've claimed responsibility. That's fine. Let's have a quick look at our terrorists while we're here. Uh, Russian Mafia, there's nothing I can do there. These guys. We've discovered one other person. We've not been able to find anything from this first guy. Just yet. Nothing incriminating, at least. Uh, sympathizers. I think that number may have increased. That is not good. Not good at all. Uh, also, looking at energy. I need to have a quick check if we can build that third generation nuclear bomb. Here we can now. It appears to have unlocked. So, what is going to be the cost of it? Uh, it's actually cheaper than a hundred... than a hundred megawatt... Oh, than a hundred million dollars per terawatt hour. Uh, we have a problem. My sources mention leaks to the press that risk compromising yourself. Oh! To be clear, I fear they will set in motion. <laughs> Spying on people is probably not a good thing. Uh, it's going to hurt our popularity. What we're going to do is build this one though. It's going to take 12 months, but it should solve our energy issues for the foreseeable future. Now we want to put it... Where do we want to put this? It's a nuclear plant, but it is unlikely. It's like a third generation one, so it's unlikely to melt down necessarily. Might put this over... Uh, that's solar power and that is a military base. We'll put it over near a military base just so they can keep an eye on it. Give all our soldiers radiation. It doesn't actually have any real benefit in, or any, any real bearing in the game. It makes no difference. But it's going to take a long time. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Now let's consider going back and revisiting that tax again. We do need to bump up... Oh, I still can't do it. Oh, 29th, another... Not a few more days. Let's just jump forward one week and see what we can do. What I need to... We have a problem. My sources mention leaks to the press that risk comp... <laughs> uh, for some reason, they don't like nuclear power, even though it is technically a renewable energy source in this game. That's classed as renewable energy. Um, oh, no, they've separated out in the 2019 edition. That is interesting. It used to be lumped into production of renewable energy. But now it's, now it's separate, which is good. Uh, so we might have ourselves a bit of a problem here. We need to... Hmm... We need to be careful. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. Energy dependence is good. Public finances are a problem. We're going to get a huge amount of... Uh, scandal issues, I think, at this stage. Simply because our spies are just not very good at their job. Let's jump forward another week. Uh, it's the 29th, actually. I will stop on the 30th. We'll revisit that tax. Taking all the process. There we go. Okay, now let's... The members of this organization are in no way involved in the assassination. Huh. The news of our infiltrated networks, combined with the questioning of former members, gives us certainty. This disinformation operation was doubtlessly a means for them... Interesting. So they're not actually responsible. We don't know who is responsible for the assassination of that person. These guys uh, seem to have bumped up their sympathizers, though. Violet film and made inquiries on where to get a van. So it looks like that top guy is more likely to be the person. We don't know for sure. Um, what was I going to do? Let's have a quick look at the newspaper while we're here. There's a false claim that might help us in some way. Hmm. They want more moderation. Big shots, young criminals. <laughs> so they're not happy that we're spying, and this is all international stuff, which I don't really care at this stage. We can, I suppose, follow quite in depth. I don't think the newspapers add a lot to the game, but some people might be into that kind of thing. What we need to do is consider this taxation. Now that we're finally able to revisit it, I'd like to. Our infiltrated agent. Oh, fuck 
Oh, that's annoying. Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing lately. Good, very good. We're making a difference. Slowly but surely we're purchasing power declines. And yeah, it's going back down again. I don't know why that happens. Let's get a question is how much can we do? Obviously now the tax on the pornography industry, they loved it. They absolutely loved that. I'm going to create a new reform again and call this the Environmental Control Act. I wish I could type properly as well. The Environmental Control Act is going to be uh, tax on industrial pollution. I'm going to put this up to 0.3. It's going to give us half a billion. I, I hate that, but I, I might be able to take control uh, what the hell just happened there? Point three, Environmental Control Act, add the reform. Okay, now it's on. Is it going to pass? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna squeak through comfortably. Squeak through is the wrong word, it's gonna smash through. We're, we're gonna get that guaranteed. Coupled with the Brown model on group psychotectonics, oh. has allowed us to identify a potential ally. <laughs> in this case, a terrorist. No, that wants us to uh, get buddy buddy with a terrorist group in North Korea, which I do not want to do. I'm going to uh, fight terrorism. I'm going to stop it as much as I can, rather than boost it up. Uh, it's just a little tutorial thing telling you you can divorce your wife if you want. The faithful friend character, this one here, is uh, a real tosser. Just you can sort of let's have a meet meet up with him and see what he has to say. He basically can tell you which sectors are growing and shrinking and whatnot. Um, I don't usually like smooching scenes, but I wanted to tell you that you're well regarded in the barracks. The guys. Okay, I don't really care about that. Uh, well, I do care actually. It's, it's good to know that the army's on our side, despite. What's this? Probably another one of those scripted events. It'll be uh, race riots or something. No, it's a power outage. Okay, that is not the good. Severe electrical shortage gripping the country. So that is not a scripted event. That one is actually to do with the fact that our energy supplies are getting worse and worse. We now have a deficit of one terawatt hour per year. Huh. Regulate the agricultural budget with the European. Yeah, I'll, I'll do enough for that. Let's have a meeting with our faithful friend. Uh, we can't see traffic yeah, offences. Oh, huh, nothing wrong with him. And asking about market trends. This is what really needs to be avoided. The real bottomless pit. <laughs> okay, we have to avoid the gas sector, and unfortunately, we are just invested a fair bit into building these gas wells. But, uh, oh well. If I'd paid attention, we would have been there in time. Uh, either way, things are looking pretty good. Their, their construction is sort of ticking along gradually. There we go. Environmental Reform Act passed and Undeniably you have inside you the founding values of society. That is a horrific voice. Voice acting is, is just atrocious in this game. Uh, speed is the future will be high speed rail. Yeah, that's very expensive unfortunately. Do I want North Macedonia in NATO? Yeah, I'll accept that. Uh it's going to take a long time to build. How long is solar going to take? We had a solar. It's going to take a long time there. Where was our wind power? That's the real question. That's it there. We're just over a third of the way. The national I don't care, mate. Just over a third of the way. So that could be a little bit of a problem. We're going to keep running into power issues. I probably should have bought energy from Germany. Let's see if we can get some from the Czech Republic. What I'm going to do is uh, purchase, yep, electricity. Do they have a surplus? They do not have a surplus. In fact, they have a, quite a large deficit, so they're already buying energy. We've been issued more debt. It looked like it was a similar amount to before, so we haven't made huge strides in fixing our deficit just yet. Uh, and... There's no surplus available there, so it looks like Germany, unless we can get further east maybe, looks like Germany might be our best bet. Uh, but what we're going to do is have a look at that next episode. Take care guys, and I will see you next time.